This is Y376 International Political Economy, October 2, 2008. What are the positive contributions of multinationals to host countries? Multinationals add capital, technology, marketing expertise, management expertise. They enhance domestic competition, and they provide higher pay for skilled workers. Here's an example. Corning Glass operations in Korea. Uh, Korea uh, Samsung Corporation of Korea makes flat panel displays using Corning Glass. Uh, a um, joint venture was created between Samsung and Corning called Samsung Corning Precision Glass. Uh, that production started jointly with Samsung in 1995 uh, and uh, the importance of controlling the the technology behind uh, flat panel glass uh, was such that Corning decided to buy out Samsung's share in the joint venture to make it into a wholly owned subsidiary called Corning Korea. Uh, here's another example of how multinationals operate across national boundaries. Uh, this shows where uh, iPods are made, the various components are made. Uh, the, the components are primarily assembled in China, but the components come from Japan, the United States, Taiwan, Singapore, and Korea. <coughs> Here are some criticisms of multinationals. Uh, the industries that multinationals tend to come from are oligopolistic. Um, they are imperfectly competitive. Multinationals engage in anti-competitive behaviors within those industries. Uh, foreign direct investment displaces domestic investment rather than adding to it. Uh, foreign direct investment undermines local and domestic cultures and economies. Uh, multinationals exploit local workers and foreign direct investment leads to technological dependence. What is an oligopoly? Uh, an oligopoly is similar to a monopoly, except there are at least two firms, um, usually something in the order of two to ten, um, and uh, there may be smaller firms outside that, that group, uh, but uh, the market is dominated by a small number of firms. Few multinationals aspire to be monopolies. Uh, monopolies attract government regulation and consumer anger. Um, oligopolies tend to make more money than uh, more perfectly competitive industries uh, and they tend to be less uh, prone to being regulated directly. Uh, the possibility for monopoly and oligopoly pricing based on market power exists um, that especially when uh, the firms collude, that is get together to decide on what the prices are going to be and uh, they may engage in predatory pricing, that's pricing below the market cost or below the cost of actual production in order to drive out uh, competitors and then subsequently raising them again. So here's a, a graph on monopoly pricing which is familiar to any of you who've taken a uh, basic microeconomics course. It shows that um, that monopolies tend to produce less than is optimum and charge more, uh, producing a monopoly surplus, which is the shaded line you know, in the rectangle there. Uh, here are some examples of oligopolies that exist in current markets. Uh, motor vehicle market is oligopolistic, so are soft drinks, movie studios, music industry, pharmaceuticals, fast food, and personal computers. This shows the automobile uh, market shares. Um, I believe Toyota is now number three. This uh, graph ends in 2004. Um, and, uh, but it shows GM, Ford, Chrysler, Toyota, Honda, and Nissan as the major uh, producers. Uh, in soft drinks, Coca-Cola, oops, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and what was the other one? Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and Cadbury Schweppes are the major uh, dominant firms. Uh, in film studios, uh, the biggest is Sony. Uh, after that comes Warner Brothers and Buena Vista. Uh, DreamWorks is uh, next. 
20th Century Fox, Universal, Paramount, etc. Uh, it's a little more competitive than a lot of oligopolies, but it's still oligopolistic. In music recording, it's a fairly limited number of players. Uh, Sony BMG uh, uh, used to be two companies, Sony of Japan and Bertelsmann Music Group of Germany. Um, they merged uh, a while back. Warner Music Group is a fairly large one, so is Universal Mus Music Group and EMI, uh, based in the UK. In the pharmaceutical industry, it's a little bit more competitive uh, than the others I mentioned, but still uh, dominated by giant firms like um, our own Eli Lilly Corporation, but also Merck, uh, Abbott, Sandoz, Pfizer, Glaxo Welcome, or Glaxo Smith Welcome, I believe it is now, uh, and uh, Bristol Myers Squibb. Uh, and in the fast food area, uh, McDonald's is number one, uh, with Burger King and Wendy's following fairly far behind. Uh, PC markets, um, Dallas, I believe, as of 2006, was the dominant player, um, followed by HP. I think HP may have caught up in the, in the more recent times uh, because of its merger with Compaq. Uh, Lenovo of, of China is number three. What public policies can reduce the ill effects of monopoly and oligopoly competition? Well, obviously, antitrust and competition policies, fair trade laws, deregulation can help if it reduces barriers to entry to create more comp competition, uh, and encouraging the establishment of competition through the introduction of new technologies. So, cell phones created co competition for landline phones, and um, so uh, uh, so does the introduction of new kinds of audio players like mp3 players for the existing makers of audio players. How do you do this internationally? Well, you may want to modify existing international regimes to incorporate competition in any trust concerns, um, which is one of the reasons why the Singapore issues came up in the uh, Doha round. Uh, you want to may want to create a separate regime regarding competition or deregulation, uh, and you may want to use national and regional measures uh, to deal with the specific firms with operations within a particular territory.